Good afternoon and happy Memorial Day. What a beautiful day God's given us to honor the families who make the ultimate sacrifice of laying down their lives in the battle for our freedom. Regardless where each individual stood in their personal, political, or religious views, each one made the decision to stand together for the greater good of their families and of those they may never meet so that they may have the freedom to choose. No one took their life from them. They made the conscious free will choice to surrender it, if that's what it took, to preserve this freedom for generations to come. As we honor their lives and celebrate their choice, let us remember that they were following the steps of the original life giver and sacrifice maker. The one who looked upon the failed world system, the evil that was running rampant in the hearts of his own creation, the very ones who despised him and cursed his name, and yet he said, I love you. No one took his life. He sacrificed it voluntarily in order to give us the chance to regain our free will in hopes that we would use it to choose him. There's an emerging reality that's rising up in the midst of this crisis. Regardless of our efforts, our science, our wisdom, and our innovation, humanity will never create or develop a cure for crisis. Are you afraid? Are you exhausted or struggling with the feelings of hopelessness? The absolute cure to crisis lies solely in the invitation given by the only one who has the authority to offer it. Jesus Christ invited anyone who would choose to use the free will he provided for them to come with him and find out what real life is all about, as well as to receive his peace, which will carry us through every storm the world brings. By doing this, he promises to teach you how to live in a state of rest, no longer driven by fear, but walking in the faith that God has you in his arms every step of the way. As we continue to live in this life, we we realize our salvation is not yet complete. But we are secure in the hope that if we have accepted this invitation, We will not only have peace in this life, but in the afterlife that is soon to come. Thank you again to the brave members of our military, our first responders, and the everyday patriots who are willing to pay the ultimate price to allow me the opportunity to enjoy this day with my family. May I honor you in how I live my life and how I used the gift of freedom you died to secure. May God bless you, and have a wonderful day.